Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello. I guess it's morning here where I am. It may not be morning where you are. But hello, dreamers, doers, believers, and achievers. I'm Dwayne Chick, and this is your morning encouragement. Excuse me. Got my drink ready. Got my drink ready. Has celery. What's in here? Celery, spinach, broccoli, pineapple juice, and banana, and some apple cider vinegar, and olive oil. That's right. All that in there. Working on my health. And working on not just being here for a while, but being here for a while healthy. Good morning, as I said. Good day, good afternoon, good evening to the dreamers, doers, believers, and achievers. I trust that you are about to start a remarkable day. And so I just wanted to uh, come and give you uh, just a real uh, quick but not rushed encouragement to help you get started on your day. Some of you are starting your day. Some of you are already uh, on your way. And so I wanted to come on and give you an encouragement to help you. Get through, get to, thank you. Good morning, good morning, Miss Cheryl Cherry. Thank you so kindly for watching. I greatly appreciate it and hope that I say something in the next 10, 12 minutes that will help you, that will push you, that will strengthen you. And will you help me help somebody and share this with someone? And I want to invite you also, if you uh, get help by what you see here, you can go to uh, my YouTube channel, Dwayne Chig encouragement, Dwayne Chig, your morning encouragement. You can see some of the other encouragement videos. You can see my um, encouragement quote of the day, as well as uh, my radio show, um, the encouragement show. And so I want to thank you for being here. And we are going to get started. I'm not going to hold you long. Today, I want to talk to you about how to keep going. Have you ever been you have been, you know, you're on your journey with the book, with the business, with health, with relationship, with, and you fill in the blank. And sometimes you just, you know, you're supposed to keep going. You know, you're never supposed to give up. We've all heard the uh, Churchill speech, never, 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 never uh, quit, never give up. I understand all that. And that's true. But sometimes on the journey, you get to the point of, are we there yet? I don't know about you. You get to the point where the next step is tough because of a variety of reasons. Today, I want to help you and help myself and want to talk to you about how to keep going. How to keep going on this journey. How to keep going with your vision. How to keep going with the goal. Uh, because there, you know, there are, there are things that, 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 that hinder. There are things that can get in the way. There are things can, that can slow you down. So just want to, give you uh, some of my experience, give you something that I trust will help you keep going. Um, as I said, there are there are things that can hinder you. One of the things that can hinder you is comparing. That's right. Comparing yourself to other people. Man, I wish my book was selling like this. Man, I wish I had my health together like him. I wish my movie was doing well as well as Comparing yourself will hinder because the focus then becomes on what I don't have, what I, what I'm not doing. And when we compare, we don't know the other person's story. We don't know where they actually are. It may look like they're doing, they're doing great, but maybe not. They may be doing great, but we don't know their background. I was, uh, leaving church. I was at church one day. Uh, me and my wife, and in the parking lot, this young man looked at us and said, I want what you have. He's talking about his, our, our marriage. And that's fine, but you don't know what I paid for that marriage. You don't know the work that goes into that marriage. And you don't know. And then the time frame, I was, we were like 30 years in at that time. And this dude was just barely 30 years old. So you couldn't have what I have at that point in your life. You can have it 10, 15, 20 years. You can have some of it later on, but you can have it. And so sometimes when we compare, we look at people and see what they have, but we haven't been in the game as long as they have. We haven't been working on the goal, the vision, the dream, the health as long as they have. So we can't have what they have at that point because we haven't been there as long. So some of the things that can hinder you is comparing. 
And not only the comparing, but some of the things, another thing that can hinder you, hinder you is sharing. And what I mean by that, sometimes we share our time with the wrong places and people. We share our time doing non-productive things. We share our time doing things that not really going to build us up. And then not only that, we share our time with people that aren't about anything, people that don't grow us. And I'm not saying every minute of your day, you have to be working on the dream, working on the dream, working on, yeah, you have fun. But even in that, you want to be around the right kind of people. So hindering us can be comparing, can be sharing, not just our time, but our testimony. In other words, sometimes we share our vision. We talk about our dream. We talk about it to the wrong people because they're not people who are moving. They're not people who are who are about uh, anything. We share our testimony of our dream, of our successes with the wrong people. And when then they don't respond, when they don't get excited, we get upset. But you're talking to the wrong people. You're talking to people that don't know about anything. They aren't doing anything. They're down. They're depressed. Now, if you're saying that to bring them up, that's one thing. But sometimes well, we can be hindered on our journey because of who we share our testimony with about the journey. I remember hearing uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes talk about uh, giraffes and turtles. And basically he said they have different perspectives. Giraffes look over the wall and see what is, what can be. And turtles look at the wall. And so sometimes we're in trouble because we're sharing our testimony of our dream. We're, we're sharing a giraffic dream with turtleistic people. And so that can hinder us. So what can help us? What can help us? We know what hinders us. What can help us? One of the things that can help us, we said comparing, sharing, preparing, getting ready. <clears throat> you're on the journey. You're not there yet, but you're progressing, preparing, working on it, making yourself better, preparing uh, for the book. I get information about books, writing books. Um, that's my latest book right there. And uh, through that plug in there, and I, I, I get better. I, in terms of marketing and things of that nature, I'm finding out information. I'm preparing. I'm getting ready for stuff. So, what can help us stay on the journey? What can help us to keep going is our preparation. Not only that, what can help us is 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 staying, staying focused, continue to. Uh, go forward, continue to look at the goalpost, continue to look at the dream, continue to look at the destination. I'm staying focused. Life happens. Uh, stuff happens. Um, just because you have a dream doesn't mean life, hap life doesn't happen. Uh, on my journey, on your journey, daddy still die like mine did. Uh, brother, little brother still die like mine did. A best friend still die like mine did. Wives have massive strokes like mine did. People mess up like I have. On the journey, life happens. But you can't get distracted by that. You cry, wipe your tears, blow your nose, and then keep going. Like they say in the, and I like old cowboy movies and the Calvary and the army movies. They say forward march, forward march, crying, but forward march, forward march with tissue, but forward march. And so staying focused, not only staying focused on the goal, but on the dream, but staying focused on your dream. Sometimes, sometimes we can get distracted trying to please people. Sometimes we can get distracted because people, man, you know what you ought to do with that? Man, you know what you, but that's not what's in your spirit. That's not what's in your, uh, uh, on your, on your vision board. That's not what's in you. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. And so staying focused. On the dream, staying focused on your goal. Now, I'm not talking about not branching out. I, I write books. I speak to people. I'm on the radio. I teach workshops and conferences and things of that nature. But all of that is to get me to the goal is staying focused on encouraging people pushing people. I've been called a dream pusher. I've been called the encourage man. So all of the things that I'm doing in the different avenues are to get to that goal. May change the navigation, but never the destination, okay? So staying focused, staying focused on your goal, on your dream. So staying, but also saying, saying. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, saying, 
the words that you use. Uh, words are powerful. The book that I use to run my life uh, has a principle in it that says death and life are in the power of the tongue, but they that love it shall live by the fruits thereof. So the words that you use, what words do you use when you talk about your vision, when you talk about your dream? I was in a conversation with uh, Miss uh, Great, Great Woman, Miss Jewel Diamond Taylor. And I said something in reference to, well, I'm not able to do that or I don't, I'm not good at that. She said, don't ever say that again. So the words that you can, that you use can put a hindrance on you. But saying the thing, saying what you're going to do, saying I'm getting better at that, saying I'm going to uh, learn how to do that, saying I'm going to find somebody that can do that. So so staying and saying. How do you keep going? You say, I'm going to make it. How do you keep going? You say where you're going. You say what you're going to do. The words that you use can make a difference. Words can change an atmosphere. You can come in with words that say, hello, how you doing? You can word, You can come in words that say, what you doing here? Whole different atmosphere. So you can change the atmosphere with your words. The atmosphere around you, but the internal atmosphere you can change the internal atmosphere, your internal atmosphere, by the words that you speak to others, to yourself. I think I saw a post or a book entitled, What Do You Say When You Talk to Yourself? And so saying, staying, and then staring. What is it that you look at? What is it that you that you focus on? Do you look at the things that say, yes, you can? Do you look at the things that show other people? Uh, those of uh, heard me before, you've heard me say, uh, I, I have what I call pictures of possibility. Those people that I look at, I look at what they're doing, not comparing, but I look at for inspiration. If they did it, I can do it too. I wrote a book a few years ago called Others have become successful and you can too. So what can help you to keep going? What can hinder you? What can hinder you is comparing, is uh, sharing with the wrong people. What can help you is staying focused on your goal, staying focused on the dream, not, 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 not falling to the distractions. We talked about some of those distractions. Life happens. Stuff happens. But staying focused, as we said, uh, cry, wipe your face, blow your nose, and write another paragraph. Cry, wipe your face, blow your nose, and do another lap, and create another movie, and you fill in the blank, whatever that, whatever your thing is. Drink another um, green shake. So, staying, saying, staring. And by that, I mean the things that you look at, the people that you see. Who do you see? That's doing something great like you want to do. Who do you see that's doing something productive? Who do you see that's, that's going forward? And so staring at those things, finding the pictures of possibility and not being uh, distracted by the naysayers. You can do it. Not being distracted by the people that say you won't. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. Not getting distracted. And it's a distraction when you talk to people and uh, when you talk to them, this is how you know these are not the people to talk to. When you talk to them and bring up what you're doing, they always change the subject. They always have a correction to make. They always have a, a one up one. Yeah, but mine is, and that's good. Yours is, but we talking about mine right now. And so uh, those, those things can be distraction and worrying about that can be a distraction. So keep going. How do you keep going? Stop comparing. Stop sharing with the wrong people. What can help you? What can help you is to stay focused. What can help you is to keep saying the productive, powerful, right words. To keep staring at the vision. Keep staring, looking at those people who are doing great things. And just like they're doing great things, you can do it. To. Greatness is out there. Go get it. Greatness is within you. Use it. And I know I'm a little bit over 10 minutes, but I'm going to let you go. But I just wanted to come and give you something that can help you keep going. I had to use this for myself a couple of days ago because I was getting frustrated. I was getting um, why not me type thing. It lasted for a little while, but I, you know, talked myself out of it. That, that was a good thing to talk myself out of. But 
Give yourself, give yourself a hand, give yourself a push, give it. I just want to come and give you some of these. This is for you with your book, business, life, relationship, whatever it is, this is for you. I will give you a standing ovation, but then I'd go out of the, uh, out of the picture, out of the camera frame, but I'm going to let you go. You have a fabulous day. You can do it. Keep going. You can make it. There's greatness in you. And just want to leave you with this. It's, it's, it's protected, so you can't steal it. I just want to leave you with this. That greatness is not your destination, it's your transportation. You stay encouraged. Join me every Tuesday. If you missed the beginning of this, you can go back and check the beginning of it. If you want to hear some more, you can go to my YouTube channel, Dwayne Chick, your morning encouragement. And also Thursday, join me on Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the Encouragement Radio Show. We talk to people just like you, dreamers, doers, believers, and achievers. It's the place to talk about your passions, products, and possibilities. You have a fabulous day and keep going. Thank you. Stay encouraged.